Hello everybody, my name is Edgar Quinteros. I'm working in the unit of environmental and occupational health research in the National Institute of Health of El Salvador. I'm going to talk about DDT and other pesticide pollution in the Bajo Lempa region in El Salvador. This research was carried out between October 2012 and March 2013. The aim of this study was to characterize the content of DDT and other organochlorine pesticides, organophosphatase, and some carbamase in soil, sediment, surface water, and groundwater in the Ciudad Romero community in the Bajo Lempa region. This investigation was carried out by following research team formed by Alex Ribó, Roberto Mejia and Carlos Orantes from National Institute of Health, Reina Jovel from National Reference Laboratory, Dina Lopez from the Department of Geological Science, Ohio University, and me. The organocrine pesticides are highly toxic chemical to humans and accumulate in the food chains. These stains are easily absorbed by the soil and sediments highly persisting in the environment and resistant to microbial degradations. DDT and its metabolites, DDE and DDD, are in the group of the most toxic organochlorines, highly lipid soluble and poorly soluble in water. Several studies have reported concentration of DDT worldwide. It has been detected in air world marine sediments and wildlife. The presence of organochlorides special DDT in the environment is mainly related to industrial discharge and agricultural practice. DDT can enter the human body through food intake or contaminated soil. Different studies have shown the presence of DDT in human breast milk even after its prohibitions. Other studies have suggested an association of DDT to cause various diseases such as breast cancer, pancreatic cancer, built complications, involvement in the female reproductive system, leukemia, infertility in men, among other health disorders. I studied the Bajo Lempa performed by Orantes et al in 2011 show a high prevalence of chronic kidney disease if farmer exposed to organochlorine and organophosphorus chemical primarily. Beside that research suggests that the toxic exposure may contribute to the prevalence of disease. In Central America and Mexico between 1959 and 1999 were used 85,000 tons of DDT for malaria control and specifically in El Salvador between 1946 and 1973 were used about 4,217.33 tons of DDT for the same purpose. The increase of use of DDT in El Salvador occurred between 1915 and 1917 in the cultivation of cotton. In 1970, DDT was banned internationally for malaria control and in 1918 as agricultural pesticides. In El Salvador, the DDT was banned until 2000. This study is focused in the Bajo Lempa, a region located in the Lempa River Delta, the largest river in Central America and El Salvador, which basin covered part of Guatemala and Honduras. The Lempa River drains the water of urban, industrial, and large agricultural areas of El Salvador. Today, the Bajo Lempa is an agricultural area focused on corn, rice, beans, and sugarcane crops. Before, during 1917, this was a cotton cropping area. In that time, cotton crops recreated intensive use of organochloride pesticides. The population of the Bajo Lempa is comprised mostly of exiles and civil war veterans settled in the area after the Peace Accord in 1992, and its main activity is subsistence farming. 
This map shows the location of these two areas. The black rectangle marks the soil sampling areas. The red polygon marks the sampling area of surface water and sediments. Sampling was conducted between October 2012 and March 2013 during the dry season. Sulfuric water was sampling nine points located in the Lempa River, Spina River, and in two trim braiding ponds. We sampled 46 groundwater wells in homes and the communities surrounding fires. Soil samples were taken in 58 homes in the community Ciudad Romero and sampled 28 points located in agricultural areas surrounding the community. This figure shows that all sediment samples have a high level of DDD. It has identified a maximum value of 0.0238 mg per kilogram in the Lempa River, close to the coastal road bridge, and a minimum bulk of 0.0038 mg per kilogram in one of the trim braiding pumps located to south of the community. The DDD present in the Lempa River sediment bay come from the erosion of contaminated soil along the river basin. Former studies have found DDE concentrations in sediments in the Bajo Lempa, reporting value between 0.00385 mg per kilogram and 0.01961 mg per kilogram. This map shows the distribution of the sum of the result of DDT and its metabolites. DDE and DDD found in soil. Pollution predominates in southwest area for the community with a maximum value of 70-77 mg per kilogram on the northern edge of the community it's evident elsewhere DDT contamination with a value of 5.51 mg per kilogram. Pollution is focused on the community. In most of the samples analyzed, DDT exceeds the limits posed by Canadian soil, water and sediment quality, guidelines, and environmental le legislation of reference. The maximum value of DDT found in soil is 25 times the recommended limit for residential land and agricultural areas which is 0.7 mg per kilogram. This map shows the distribution only DDT without the addition of metabolites DDD and DDE. The pollution is focused on the community, mainly in the southwest end and the north end, showing a similar distribution than DDT and metabolites. DDE distribution is similar to distribution of the other pollutants. The pollution is focused on the community, mainly in the southwest and north ends. The DDD has less pressing in the community compared to the DDT and DDE, but the distribution is similar to these contaminants. In conclusion, the contamination exceeds the limit set by international standards for housing and agricultural soil, sediment and groundwater, and sulfur water. The DDT identified is related to the exercise application in the past decade in the Bajo Lemp and the persisting of this pollutant in the environment. The presence of DDT in water may be associated with a recent application of the solubility of the DDT in water is negligible. The presence of DDT in sediment and trimming may be due to runoff from cultivated soil in the Lempa River Basin and El Espino River. Thank you very much.